Connor, a trip to Plymouth on Tuesday night, a place that was an important part of your, your, your career. Just take us back to those early days. How do you remember it? Yeah, incredible uh, memories, really. Um, seems a long time ago now. Um, had three great years there. Um, Plymouth were the, the first club, I suppose, to give me first team action, um, which I'll always be hugely thankful for. It started, uh, started my career. Um, Peter Reid signed me. Um, so thanks to him for that. Um, but yeah, amazing, amazing times. Um, you know, absolutely loved loved it there. And like you said, the start of my journey really, which is, um, and I haven't been back since. So I'm looking forward to going back actually. You were made captain quite quite young as well, I think. Yeah, I was 21, 22. Um, the club was going through a bit of a funny period. Um, I actually signed when they were in admin, um, close to losing the club really, um, if I'm being honest, um, really kind of uneasy times, you know, all a bit of a whirlwind for me when you're kind of so young, managed to get a takeover, um, manager came in and yeah, made me captain, he obviously seen something in me so young um, and uh, yeah, it was, um, it was a, a great, great time for me really. How important were those years in sort of setting you on the journey, maybe turning you into the player that you ultimately became? Yeah, huge, huge. Um, I think it was very fortunate early on. Peter Reid signed me. I know he wasn't there um, very long when I when I first signed, and then uh, had Carl Fletcher, who was um, a, a centre midfielder, who helped me a lot, who made me captain. Then John Sheridan came in, who was also a midfielder, who helped me a lot in my game. So I think between the three of them, um, taking little bits and pieces from them as managers, but then also um, giving their knowledge to me as players was something that really, really helped me. Um, one of the, the, the coaches called Nance is, is still actually there now, who I'd be dragging in on my days off to do extras to get better. So huge thanks to him for that, because that wouldn't have been easy, I'm sure, for a, for a lad on a Wednesday asking him to come in on a day off constantly to try and improve. So huge thanks uh, to him for that. I still text him now, great, great guy. So yeah, I've, um, like I said, a lot of thanks for people down there, because it, like, it, it kind of moulded me into the guy I am today on and off the pitch. And incredible, really, that, that you haven't been back since. What, what sort of a reception are you expecting, if, if any? Yeah, yeah, it would be interesting. Like I said, I, um, you know, I've done a couple of podcasts and stuff for them over the years. Um, never actually been back, never actually played against them, never been drawn against them in the cup or anything. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm not sure where we're staying when we get down there, but I'd like to have a little wander around to see if it was the same. I think it's like, well, I'm 32 now, we're left at 22-ish, so 10 years probably. So I'd like to have a little wander around um, in the spare time, maybe tomorrow when we're waiting for the game to see what it's like and, and, and li relive the memories. But um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to getting back there. And when you make a Plymouth right now, they're having a good season. Yeah, they're doing really, really well, really well. Credit to them. Um, you know, the, they've had a, you know, a really good manager and um, we played them obviously at the start of the season. They play a good style of football um, and they've just been relentless in the results. Um, credit to them. Um, you know, I know what it's like uh, down there. It's, um, you know, it's a big club, um, you know, big fan base, travelling their numbers as well. Not easy for a player because you're constantly travelling four, five, six hours to away games. So hats off to them. Um, they've done really, really well. And uh, yeah, look, um, you know, they've, like I said, they've done well, but uh, hopefully come Tuesday night we'll, we'll manage to get one over on them. You mentioned the game back in, in September and, and one of the things that's been said about Saturday is that it was a bit of a missed opportunity for you guys. Do you feel that way about the game in September as well, 2-0 up at half-time? Yeah, possibly, possibly. Probably um, them two games come to mind when you probably think of points dropped over the course of the season being 2-0 up twice, obviously, like you said, Saturday and against Plymouth back, back along. So... Yeah, hopefully we can, um, you know, flip that on its head and, and come out on the right uh, result this, this time around. We know it's not going to be easy. You know, they've got a good home record and they're in great form, obviously, in the position that they're in. But, um, you know, we'll be up to the task, no doubt. Do you see it as, you know, an opportunity to really get yourselves back in the race of the top two? Hopefully, hopefully. I think, um, look, I think people, people look at that and, 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 are, and are eager for it and want it to happen. But it's, it's tough, you know, you, you can't win every game. Um, you know, would it be a big result for us if we won there tomorrow night? Of course, it would be massive um, and it would get us going again after the disappointment of Saturday. So let's just see what happens tomorrow night and, and, and engage it after that.